hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your p trader now in this video we will study about market structure basic trend lines support and resistance and how to make money in uptrend and downtrend market so like what i always say to people or friends wanted to enter the market i always tell them to at least study how to read chart kasi napaka importante na malaman mo na yung binibili mong stock ay nasa downtrend ba or uptrend so malalaman mo kung uptrend siya or bullish if it makes higher highs and higher lows now downtrend naman siya or bearish if it makes lower highs and lower lows so let me give you an example this is the daily chart of manila water company mwc so if you're going to look at this part of the chart you can tell that it's an uptrend because it is creating higher highs and from here it created higher lows so it's an uptrend now from this trend we can draw trend lines so how to draw trend lines you just have to connect the highs and the lows so the lows will connect the lows the upper trend line will act as a resistance and then the lower lower trend line it will act as our support okay now there are many ways or options to trade this trend but i'll give you two ways the first one is buying on pullbacks or around the support area so if you buy here you can sell around the resistance so that if you did that that actually made you 24 percent so this is the daily chart so that is like one two three four on the fourth day it already reached your resistance so your target price so in four days it made you 24 percent so you can do it again here you can buy around the support area and sell when it reach your resistance or the upper trend line now guys um important na may exit plan hindi pwedeng buy lang ng buy na plan mo yung buy pero walang exit plan so what before you enter or before you buy the stock you must have an exit plan so first yung it's either ma reach yung target profit mo or target price which is here's the resistance or if you have another target price so that's your first exit plan and then the next one is your cat loss so if you buy around the support area you can place your cat, cat loss just a little below the support area so kung hindi siya mag bounce sa support area natin at mag break pa siya pababa let's say here another red candle so may cut loss ka, hindi lalaki yung talo mo. As kung hahayaan mo lang siya, hindi ka magka-cut loss, iisipin mo, aangat siya ulit. Magda-downtrend na siya, magre-reverse na siya, magda-downtrend siya, at hindi mo ang alam kung kailan pa matatapos yung downtrend na yun, or kung kailan pa yun magre-reverse. So, palaki ng palaki yung talo mo. And you have to wait like what? Weeks? Months? Or years? Just to break even? So, no. So, importante na may cut loss ka lagi bago ka pumasok sa trade okay now the other option to trade this or other way is to buy on breakouts so let's say pagdating dito sa upper trend line na break yung resistance natin which is yung upper trend line you can buy there uh, mostly may mga breakout trader so they buy on breakouts it will create another trend uptrend so there now sa pinas dito wala tayong short sell so we only have long sell but still we can make money even if it's in downtrend i'll show you how 
So this is the early chart of IDC. So it's in downtrend. It's, as you can see, it makes lower highs and lower lows. So nilagyan ko na ng trend lines. Again, the upper trend lines act as our resistance. And then the lower trend, trend lines act as our support. So again, like the uptrend, you can buy around the support area and then sell around the resistance area. So if you did that here, that made you 11%. And this is early chart. So that actually just took you two days and that gave you 11% kahit downtrend siya. So you can do the same thing here. You can buy on support area and then sell on resistance area. Okay, so that still made you 10%. And this is actually in a broke out siya. So this is what I'm telling you about. Yung buy on breakout. So pag breakout niya dito sa resistance natin or sa upper trend line natin, you can buy there. So pwedeng, may three types ng breakout. Just be careful. So first type is yung breakout na successful, yung dire-direcho siya, pataas, with high volume and momentum. So, and then the other breakout is retest. So pag akyat niya dyan, bababa siya, itatouch niya ulit tong resistance natin or yung trend line natin bago siya umangat ulit. Now the third type is failed breakout or false breakout or bullish trap. Kasi imbis na itouch lang niya yung trend line or resistance natin, binrake niya at bumalik siya sa range na to. So, bumalik siya sa downtrend, bumalik siya sa range na to. Kaya bullish trap, maraming na trap dito kasi maraming bumili dyan. Akala nila successful breakout. So, bumalik siya sa, bumalik siya sa range na to, downtrend. Kaya, importante may catalyst ka. Kasi kung bumili ka sa breakout at hinayaan mo lang siya, kahit binrate na niya ulit yung trend line at bumalik na siya sa range na to, hinayaan mo lang, hindi ka nag-cut loss. Lalaki na lalaki yung talo mo kasi downtrend siya, hindi mo alam kung kailan matatapos yung downtrend niya, kung kailan mag-reverse. So, mas maigi ng may cut loss ka para hindi lumalaki yung talo mo. So, that's actually part of risk management. And the first goal in trading actually is to maintain your capital survival okay so kung palaki na palaki yung talo mo how can you maintain your capital how can you survive okay kung lagi kang talo at lagi pang malalaki yung talo mo diba? that's the first goal to survive and then the second goal is to make profits so kung alam mo na maintain yung capital then the next step would be easier for you like make profits and it takes a lot of discipline of course so paano naman kung hindi siya trending so paano kung something like this hindi siya nagcreate ng higher highs or lower highs and not even higher lows or lower lows so ang tawag dito cons consolidation so nagco-consolidate siya so kapag ganito yung range or yung trend May dalawang pwedeng mangyari. It's either i-break niya yung resistance or i-break niya yung support. But still, you can make money if you plan to trade this consolidation. You can buy around support area and then sell around resistance. It's the same buy on support, sell on resistance that actually was 17%. So you can do it again here, buy around support, sell around resistance, and that will still make you 17%. So, pag nag-break siya, like what I've said, um, pwede siya mag-break out, i-break niyo resistance natin. Pag bin-break niyo yung resistance natin, yung resistance magiging new support, and it will create a new resistance. So, same kapag ang bin-break naman niya yung support, yung support natin magiging resistance na, then it will create a new support. So that's just the basic uh, reading charts and 
creating trend lines, support and resistance. So I've told you this is a very quick video. If you have any question, comment it below. I will try to answer all of your questions. And in the next video, I will share some trading tips that I've learned from the book, The Trading Code by Jason Cam. So it talks about finding the stock in play, the 2% rule, reading the candlesticks, support and resistance strategy, and VWAP strategy. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've learned something new. And see you in the next video. Cheers.